Hey guys, it is Monday night and that means it's time for Let's Talk About. I've got the whole kitchen to myself. I've managed to banish Kim. I said that there was an emergency and so she's gone. So it's just you and me. We're going to have a great time together tonight. And we're talking about spring cleaning, which of course is one of my all-time favorite things. So um, look forward to that. And what do you... Jeremy, what did you start without me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, we're hilarious. We're here every Monday night talking about some cool stuff to do with essential oils and other cool products. We've got some great stuff. Tonight we're talking spring cleaning. So that's what all this setup's for. We're going to show you our favourite cleaning DIYs. Ours? Okay, they're mine. <laughs> yeah, I guess What's mine is ours? <laughs> Alrighty, let's roll the music. Salt and pepper. Here we go. So we're going to show you six recipes all up. There's some that I actually haven't even shared with you before. What? Okay, so some we're ones. talking brand new recipes. Yep. I've spent the day being having my students yell, Mama, only mama! At me, so if there's any students watching, hey guys. Oh. Watch, let's talk about spring cleaning. <laughs> all the good things and the bad things that may be. Spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Alrighty. Alright. So, I guess the thing about spring cleaning is that, um, you know, we want our houses to be clean and smell nice, but the thing is that we don't want to use any nasty chemicals, okay? A lot of chemicals that are in cleaning products are, you know, if you read the material safety data sheet for those, uh, you would find that they've been linked to all kinds of things, including asthma and other breathing difficulties. Eczema. I know that, you know, I used to get really, really bad eczema from a lot of cleaning products, particularly dish soaps. And um, they're linked to urinary tract infections. They're linked to kidney issues. They're linked to um, even cancer. So we want to try and get rid of all the nasty chemicals, but we want cleaning products that work because there's nothing worse. Well, what's the point if they don't work? That's right. Yeah. Than going to the trouble of making your own cleaning products. So the yeah. first thing, we just want to show you how simple it is to make up the Thieves household cleaner. So Jeremy, I mean if Jeremy can do it, anyone can. Alright. I, I have a knife. <laughs> I have a knife. <laughs> Alright. So, we, this is the bottle that comes in the Nature's Essentials pack. So if you want a beautiful glass Thieves uh, spray bottle, grab yourself mm -hmm. one of those Nature's Essentials packs. No, you're going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Um, I want to show you this. It's actually on the back of it got measurements. So light cleaning, heavy cleaning, general cleaning, um, you know, you fill it up. Um, so you fill it up with that much water and then that much thieves. But what we're going to do, in this size bottle, I generally do two capfuls of the thieves cleaner. Okay? So one of those. One, mm -hmm. two. Which is not very much when you think about it. It's pretty super concentrated, isn't it? If you buy this um, Thieves Household Cleaner oh. and, and you go. buy it, <laughs> you'll be cleaning the floor later. You'll be, if you buy it at wholesale price, the 426ml bottle, then it costs you 94 cents for one, one capful. Um, so that bottle is basically going to be $2, um, you know, gonna, less I'm than $2. I'm going to get some of this in the bottle. If you buy the bigger size, which I'll get Jeremy to show you in a minute, it actually works out at 88 cents per um, per capful. And you know, so you couldn't go to the supermarket and buy even a toxic cleaner for you know for two bucks. Um, so I think that right. these household cleaner is amazing value. So so how much did that cost us? Well, because we put two, two capfuls in there. Two times ninety-four cents, so basically a dollar eighty-eight for five hundred mil. Yeah, for making five hundred mil. And that's like that's your full strength, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's what you know that, that that's like my bench cleaner yeah. and my window cleaner, things like that. Yep. If I want to really get rid of heavy stains, then I'd put more of the Thieves household cleaner. But that's really good for you know all-purpose cleaning if you like. And if you buy this size, it's eighty-eight cents. So. That cleans your fans, it cleans, you know, basically you can do your whole house, your bathroom. What I love is that you can actually throw out all of your cleaning products and replace it with these. So you don't need to have a cleaner for 
oven and a cleaner for the, I'm going to show you an oven cleaner in a minute. You don't have to have a window cleaner, you don't have to have a tile cleaner, a tub cleaner, a shower cleaner. You can do it all with this one amazing all natural plant based cleaner. Okay? Can I give you my hack? I've got a great floor cleaning hack. Okay, especially if you've got toddlers or actually preferably if they can't walk yet, spray a little bit of this on the front of their jumpsuit and then just let them crawl on the floor. And seriously, you can have the whole floor polished and shiny. The best thing is, it doesn't Don't do that many harm. Don't leave your children around, Jeremy. No, that's just a hack. <laughs> Alright, the next okay. one I'm going to show you is Thieves Wipes. Now obviously Young Living sells Thieves Wipes, but you can also make your own. So we look, we buy our toilet paper and things like that from who, who gives crap. a crap. <laughs> so we get our um, paper towel from them as well. Okay. Now what we're going to do, Jeremy's going to cut this in half. Okay. Don't never work with children, animals, or Jeremy. I'm hoping I can cut this in half. So am I. I just have to do a slow and steady. Okay. Um, so I like to reuse everything. So you can. Um, if you've been drinking the Pure Complete or even the Balance Complete uh, from Young Living, the um, protein powder or the Balance Complete, you can reuse the containers to put your all natural wipes in. So that's what we're going to make it in. But you can put it in an ice cream container or a Tupperware nice. container, anything like that that you've got around the house. There we go. So once you've cut that, that's the end of that what one. we're going to do <laughs> is two capfuls of the Thieves Household Cleaner. Now what I like about this recipe is you can actually make a whole heap of different wipes with this. So you can do, do you want to do two capfuls in, yep, sure. in there for me? You can do um, makeup removal wipes. So you can use the, um, like any of the cleansers, like I love to use the Orange Blossom Cleanser or you can use the Art Cleanser. Um, you can even use the mirror cleanser and instead of the Thieves Household Cleaner. You can make baby wipes and use the, uh, the either the unscented bath gel or the Kids Sense bath gel. And you put, um, instead of your Thieves Household Cleaner, you put that in the container. Then we're actually going to do 10 drops of lemon oil, which is over there. I'm worried about fitting this in there. You'll be able to do it, Jeremy. I have faith. Only 10 drops. Yeah. I actually went to the gym earlier, so I have no muscles left. But... Alright, now we're going to do half a cup of the distilled water into the container as well. Now, I always use distilled water. If you've seen any of my recipes before, I, half all... a cup. Yeah, I always use distilled water um, because if you don't, your products won't last as long. So I have seen um, that these wipes go mouldy when people haven't used the um, distilled water because you know there was bugs or things like that in people's tap water even from town um, so always you know just spend the extra dollar or whatever it costs to buy um, some distilled water all right so now what you're going to do I'm a bit worried about this but hey I don't think it's going to fit <laughs> old balance complete tank containers were a lot easier to get it in yeah I think they were bigger okay Alright, what we'll do, <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll pour it over the top. Yep. And then when it's wet, I don't know if you guys can see this, but when it's actually wet on the wipes, you can pull the center oh, no, out yep. of the wipes. So you pull the cardboard tube out. It's probably stuck to the cardboard tube, so just grab a handful and pull. Alright, so then we'll be able to squeeze it. That. That's looking a little bit better. I'll let you change it over there. Yep. Okay, there you go. Alright, and then, alright, um, then what you do is you pop the lid on and shake it up to make sure that all those wipes are wet. And when you pull it, you can actually pull from the center, you know how you pull out nappy wipes, and you can pull from the center and out they come. And out they come. And you've got a thieves clean wipe. So you've got to make sure that they're all wet. That's pretty handy. So, so you can... But you can clean anything. Like if you want to wipe down surfaces. The other thing you can do is if if you don't like the idea of paper towel, 
and you want to make it more recyclable is to use um, either microfiber cloths or some kind of clean, like rags. If you've got a whole heap of old tea towels and you want to cut them up or things like that, you can do that. So there's your themes awesome. cleaning wipes. What? Just going to clean this off. All right. The next one is a thieves liquid scrub. Now, in the past, I always make the mama gulp, which is a very similar recipe to this one, but we're going to do it a little bit different today, and we're going to make it more liquidy. And so, what we're going to do is three quarters of a cup, Jeremy. Is, oh, it's yep, yep. Okay. Three quarters of a cup of bicarb soda mm -hmm. into your bowl. Yep. Yeah. Play school or something. We buy our bicarb soda in bulk from a local chemical supplier called North Coast Chemicals. We buy our um, Epsom salts, citric acid. citric acid, all of those things mm. from a local supplier. Mm. I'm sure there's probably someone near you that sells things in bulk as well. And that way we've always got bicarb soda on hand if we want to make things like the dishwashing soap or things like that. All right, then you've got the these dish soap. So we're going to do a quarter of a cup of dish soap. Okay. So you did three quarters of a cup of bicarb yep. and one quarter of a cup of dish soap. That's a fair chunk of dish soap. It's yep. dish soap, isn't it? Okay. That's going to have a fair bit of cleaning power up there. One cup of the thieves household clean. Sorry, sorry one, one cap. cap. <laughs> yeah. Not one cup. <laughs> one cap full. and two cupfuls of distilled water. So I just use the same cap. I like recipes where you don't have to have, you know, a million different measurements. Mm -hmm. All right, then we're going to mix this up. So that's interesting because it doesn't, it's not like super foamy, is it? Because the dish, the dish soap. No, so what you want to do is keep adding a little bit of distilled water till it becomes like a liquidy consistency. So this is still a bit, it's not really runny enough. So we want to get it a bit runnier. So another capful. I like to recycle, I've taken a leaf out of a Nan Gris book, <laughs> um, is I like to put it, do you want to hold, yeah, yeah. do one, hold that. There we go. I like to recycle the dish soap containers. Being resistant. You might need to make it a bit longer. Yeah. Um, That's okay, hold it down. You keep talking, I'll right. make it a little bit runnier. So I like to recycle the dish soap containers so that I can squirt it on the bath or on the um, sink or anything like that. Um, I just saw a question from Beverly which was about the distilled water. I buy my distilled water at IGA. Um, so Beverly, I know you're near us. So the local Nambucca IGA has distilled water. It's in the cleaning aisle. Um, can't see. Oh, someone else said Coles and Woolies. Um, I think at Coles and Woolies, it's usually demineralized water, which you can use as well. My preference is distilled if you can get it, but demineralized is my second choice. So um, anyway, so that just allows you to, you know, go along in your bathroom and um, squirt the... Um, now, the other thing is that if it goes a bit hard, just add more water to the bottle and shake it up, okay? All right. Now the next one is um, something that you may not clean very regularly, which is your um, wooden chopping boards. Okay? Spring is a good time to get out your wooden chopping boards and give them a good clean. Um, I tend to wash them in the sink and then give them a spray with the Thieves household cleaner and leave them to air dry. Okay? But in the springtime we want to give them a good um, wash. So we're going to, I was going to use that bowl, but that's okay. We just need another bowl to, maybe we'll just make it in the jar. We'll see if we yep. can do that. All right, so this is a coconut and salt scrub for our chopping boards. So we need a quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup? That's good. I think we might have used all the quarter. Oh, here's another one. Oh, yeah. 
quarter of a cup of coconut oil. So this is all going straight in the jar? Yep, we're going to put it in the jar so we run out of bowls. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong thing out of the jar. This is supposed to be salt. <laughs> and I grabbed clay. Um, <laughs> that could end badly. <laughs> It's funny, it's so videos tonight. Um, so, it's actually um, a quarter of a cup of coconut oil, half a cup of um, sea salt, right? And preferably coarse sea salt, because that's going to give your chopping board a better scrub. And then you're going to do three drops of these and three drops of lemon oil. And we all know how powerful the lemons are and how powerful the thieves oil is. Thieves oil has cloves, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary and lemon. And it's the basis of the Thieves household cleaner. So it's a great product to use. Um, so do you want me to put that in or are you going to make it up? Yeah. yeah okay. So what, how many drops? Three are? drops. Three. But yeah, so we'll need to get the... Um... I'll just drop it through its aura. <laughs> we'll need to... I don't think it'll work very well with beige clay. And how many... Uh, what's our... Three drops of lemon. Yeah. Alright. And then you need the sea salt. Okay. So well, actually I need the sea salt for the next recipe. So okay. um, you make the oven paste and I will run and get the <laughs> 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 I'll run and get the salt because I know where it is. <laughs> Which one's the oven paste? <laughs> oh yeah, I got it. Okay. So one of the one of the first things that I loved him for was um, when she came to my place on the Gold Coast way, way back. She cleaned my oven, okay? And um, so this is actually a very cool um, oven cleaning recipe. So, and it's super simple as well. So we start off with a cup of bicarb soda, which is just the best stuff, and it's totally non-toxic, so that's awesome as well. So that goes into the bowl. And then it's, again, super simple. So a tablespoon of dish soap. Where's our tablespoon there? And our dish soap. Is there. See how I can get those confused? They look the same. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're putting the, the um, dish soap in and then a quarter of a cup of these household cleaners. So there's our, that's got stuff in it. That's got stuff in it. That's okay, because I think, just use that one. Okay. So there are two, I have two different oven recipes. This is for a paste, so you can actually wipe this on. Or if you don't like that idea, you can actually just. The reason we were doing it here was I was going to get Jeremy to actually clean the oven. <laughs> um, you can just get bicarb soda, sprinkle it on the bottom of your oven, and then use the Thieves household cleaner to spray it. And it needs to be damp. You'll see that the bicarb soda will foam up, similar to what's going to happen in this bowl. Um, and when it foams up, it actually lifts off a lot of the grease. So it's a great way to, um, you know, lift off those hard to clean things. Now, the thing about natural oven cleaners is that my grandma always used to say... <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a missing ingredient, isn't it? Elbow grease. Yeah. Right? Um, so, you know, it's not going to totally clean your oven. You are going to have to use a little bit of elbow grease. But it's amazing, like it doesn't get the toxic fumes into all your food. I was, I was gonna say, like, here's the try, never try this with a commercial oven cleaner. Okay, do that with a commercial oven cleaner. What happens? And you fry your lungs, but yeah, this is magical stuff. Yeah, so just show them what it looks like. So it's kind of like a thick paste, yeah. and you can just wipe that paste on the bottom of your oven, yeah. and you can also wipe it over the um, trays in your oven as well. Yeah. Leave it on half an hour overnight, however long. Um, but as I say, the other way is to just put the bicarb soda on and spray the thieves cleaner. Depending on how dirty your oven is, depends on how strong you make the thieves cleaner. So you could use the diluted one. <laughs> that That's pretty strong. That we. <laughs> you could use the diluted one that we made earlier. Or um, you could just put the sprayer into the actual thieves bottle 
and spray it neat over the um, bicarb soda to clean it off and clean the bottom of your oven. So, um, anyway, I've gone and got the salt. So I'll show you. Um, we need so half a cup of salt in with that coconut oil. Or the um, all right. Another spoon. No, we'll just shake it up. Oh, okay. All right, so this, you know, will obviously set it, um, but basically what it makes is a salt scrub for your oh, chopping board. Boards. So you just put it on the chopping board and, you know, use it to scrub your chopping board. Can I just say, the other really good thing about that is it's great for your chopping board to be putting some coconut oil on there because if you've got wooden chopping boards, you need to oil them up every so often anyway. So that does two things at the same time, which is quite clever. Anyway, so there's, um, yeah, basically a great way to clean off your chopping boards. And we forget about things like that, so it's a task that I like to do mm. in spring. Yeah. All right, last yeah. one is the carpet deodorizer. All right, okay. so... You keep talking, I'm just going to do my chopping board. I'm just going to wash my hands now. All right. The last recipe I want to show you is for carpet deodorizer. Now a lot of carpet deodorizers, particularly if you've got pets and children who crawl around on the carpet, they're actually going to be breathing those, that carpet deodorizer in, they're going to get it on their hands, their paws if they're an animal, and it's going to cause all kinds of skin issues. So instead, you can make a natural one. So just get an old spice container, an old spice jar, and what you want to do, I need a spoon. Which one? A spoon. Um, yeah, teaspoon Alright, so basically, imagine that this is um, half a cup, quarter of a cup, and an eighth of a cup. So we need an eighth of a cup of salt in your container. Now, the salt just helps the bicarb over time not to set. Um, my grandma always used to put peas in her salt. Did your grandma do that? No. My grandma, because so the salt didn't. Oh, no, uh, rice, we used to Rice, okay. Yeah. Well, my grandma always used to put dried peas in the bottom oh. of her salt container. Anyway, so basically you're going to do an eighth of a, of eighth of a container with salt, and then you're going to fill the rest of it up with bicarb soda. Let's do it with the bicarb here. Right. Ah, uh, essential oils. Yeah. yeah. Ten drops Good of. Combo. 10 drops of purification. I haven't used purification in a while. Um, now that it's not in the premium starter kit, I've got to you know, find it. Uh, but 10 drops of purification, one, two, four. Don't do it all in the one spot. Yep. Try to shake it around. Four, six, seven, oops. Eight, nine, 10. Can you shake that up just while yep. I grab the lemongrass? And then 10 drops of lemongrass. You can do this in a bowl and then tip it into the container if you want. Mm -hmm. We've run out of bowls now. My hands are purified though. Um, Just trying not to put it all in one spot. Yep. Yeah. Can you shake it up again? Yep. Sorry. We would make terrible hosts on a cooking show. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> shake that up. Make sure the salt and the bicarb mix together with the essential oils. And then all you do is sprinkle it over your carpets. Leave it for 10 minutes. Soaks up odours. The bicarb soda is great for that. And then you just vacuum it up. Simple yeah, as that. That's awesome. That's six DIY spring cleaning recipes in... Just like that. Yeah. So let us know what your favourite spring cleaning idea is yeah. or tip uh, in the comments below. And we, oh, so actually one more thing I wanted to tell you was that if you haven't already grabbed a copy of my ebook, uh, The Naturally Green Cleaning Guide, um, well, the ultimate naturally mm. green cleaning guide. Not just any green cleaning guide, <laughs> no. it's the ultimate. It's guide. got heaps more of my recipes. Um, the oven paste. 
Oh no, actually, I don't think there was any recipes nope. that we made today that's nope. in that book. These are all brand so you can get all the um, whole heap of other spring cleaning ideas and spring cleaning recipes in that book. So if you're on Team Valor, go to the files or to the units tab, or even just search up green cleaning and the book will come up. Or otherwise, if you're watching this outside of Team Bella, then uh, go to my Hot Early Mama website and it's on the free page and you can download the ebook for free. So there's a whole heap of other recipes. We will be back here next Monday night with another exciting thing. Who, who's going to clean up all this mess? I don't know, you're going to clean spring cleaning. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Are you going to push the button? Yeah. I can't reach the button. <laughs> Bye guys!